Hey guys, welcome to part 9 of our shooter game. This is actually the same part as the last video, part 8. But because it's so long, I split it up into two parts. So if you have not seen part 8 yet, you have to see that to see this video. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so now you're actually going to need to create another list called guns. Okay, actually, you know what I've done? I've actually set both of these back to 1. So they're just going to replace item 2 with number 1. Over here, I have added uh, just zero after the one. So we just have a one, one, zero, zero. And then I'm going to go to the player. And what I have here, and what I've done over here at the player, is I have made this script here, which I will explain to you, and then you guys can make this in your game. So what this is, is it says, when I receive play, we're going to forever check to see if we are pressing key W. I don't know why I just said W, it's Q. Okay, so if key Q is pressed, then what's going to happen is it's going to go to the next costume, and then it's just going to check to see if the costume number that we are, the item number of that costume, of the guns, if that's equal to zero, which means we do not have this, then we're going to repeat until we do have a gun. So we're just going to be switching next costume until the same thing is equal to 1. And then wait until not key Q pressed. Now hopefully you guys can put this down, you can pause the video, and anyway, let's get into it. So now we go back into the shop items, and we need to do a couple of things for this. First of all, I'm going to make another costume here, and this one is going to be when you have already bought it. Okay, now that we have this, I'm going to go to the code, and I'm going to say, now we're going to switch the costume to, oops, automatic 3, goes right here, and then it's going to stop this script. Now actually, this stuff here can also be done in another if statement in the forever loop, because yeah, it's going to disappear, but later, when this comes up again, it also needs to be gone. Not necessarily gone, but just there purchased so it's going to switch to automatic three stop this script and i think that is if um item number two wait uh item number two of guns is equal to one which means we have bought it all right that's good now let's actually try this so let's make the these two go away and just see what happens. Click this. Click the shop. This comes up. That's pretty nice. I click it because I do have five for some reason. I don't know why I have five right now. Click it. It says purchased. That's great. I go back and it stays there. So that is a problem. Let's see if it stays there even if I do not purchase it. Yep. And it still is running. So we need it to when I receive buttons so that's when the buttons come out then we need it to delete itself delete this clone and this is gonna happen for all of the other items that come up so now if I click shop back there we go shop can I buy this I cannot buy this because it says 250 and I do not have 250 but we said it's a five so now we're gonna go play play a little bit get five there we go now we're gonna die now once we die it comes back on we click shop there we have it now we click it boom purchased back disappears shop comes back and it is still purchased perfect now once it's purchased we press play as we're playing we can press Q and now we have our, our automatic gun the thing is though is that this gun isn't automatic 
it looks like an automatic gun, but that does not make it automatic. Now we still have to change that into the player script. So let's quickly do that, and then that'll be all for this video. So we're going to go to the player script, and we're going to change a few things. So we're going to say, point towards the mouse pointer, all this stuff happens, but the automatic gun doesn't change anything about the movement. It actually is about the bullets. So let's actually go to the bullets. Now here it is going to point in the direction of the player. This is if it is absolutely perfect on the spot. So if we're going to use an automatic gun, we don't want it to be at that accurate. So what we want it to do is we can add a little bit of extra. But this is actually going to be... Um, we're going to have a if else, and we're going to put an if else in here too. Uh, and the if else is going to be if the costume number of the player, if the costume number of the player is equal to 1, then this is going to happen. And I'm actually going to not make it super precise even for the normal gun. So for the normal gun, I'm going to make it plus pick random minus say like minus two to two we'll see what that's like and then uh, everything else is fine now we're going to duplicate all this in to the next if statement and we're going to bring this over here now this is if the costume number is equal to two which means it's the automatic gun with the automatic gun it wait did i just do two or three it's supposed to be two okay there we go so it's going to go to the player point direction we'll make it minus four to four so it's a little bit less precise and it's going to move a little bit slower so we're going to say move six steps instead oh wait sorry that's not right so undo that uh here we're going to make it uh 12 steps this is where it's actually supposed to be doing it. do not change this one okay now we're going to go here and this is just the normal script here uh we're going to take out all this stuff here after duplicating that and what we're going to do is we're going to put this this block here inside of the first if so this is if the gun is normal then do that if the gun is the automatic gun then we want it to instead of waiting till we're not clicking the mouse we want it to wait a tiny bit of time maybe 0.1 all right that should be pretty good let's try it so we play we have the normal gun and we'll notice it isn't actually super accurate it is pretty accurate I must say but there is a little bit of it does move around slightly yeah okay so now we've got enough money here so now let's just die Okay, now once we die, we can go to the shop, buy our automatic gun, go back, press play, and now we can press Q to switch the gun. Now, when we hold down the gun, we're actually shooting lots of bullets. It is still pretty accurate, and going still pretty fast. So, I'm going to make it so that it is a little bit less accurate. We'll say the accuracy will be maybe minus... Uh, seven to seven and then it will move ten steps now let's try this again play we have to switch to Q and that is pretty good it's a lot of bullets so let's actually make that a little bit less we will say 0 0.25 uh oh I'm just gonna die play Q all right, that's pretty good. Maybe point two. Oh my goodness. Here we have it switching it to costume one every time that we receive play. 
Instead, I kind of want it to switch to costume one only when the flag is clicked. If we try this now, we play. Now once we go to the shop, buy this, back, play, we press Q, now we have this gun. Now if we die, now if we press play again, we will still have this gun. Well, we're going to have to press Q to switch back. Alright, that's pretty nice. Now I think I also want to make the damage of the bullets a little bit different too, but that's not for this video. We'll do that in another video. That's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this video is probably a little bit longer than normal. So thanks for hanging in. I hope you learned a lot. Hope your game's turning out really well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.